What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and you guys read the title right. My E46 M3 is getting bagged. I couldn't believe the day came sooner than I thought, but there was a lot of circumstances that led up to this decision. As you guys already know, I am currently in the midst of buying parts for doing a partial rebuild on the engine, doing a full rebuild on the trans and the shifter and all that stuff. But now, <laughs> look at these, look at these bad boys. There was a lot of decisions that went behind to this purchase, solely because of the fact that my suspension on the E46 M3 is really old. I'm pretty sure one of the hi-hats gave out, which kind of explains the weird clunking noise when I'm driving. So I kind of haven't, I really haven't been driving this thing for a too lot, but I am super excited to get this on my E46 M3. It's been a long dream to be riding on air. Needless to say guys, I am very grateful that all the months of hard work have been paying off. I finally bought all the parts too to get the whole rebuild done. It is the matter of just kind of setting up a time, filming the whole process, and showing you guys my journey with my E46 M3, and I'm super excited. But I'll go a little bit over about my air suspension setup. So I went for the Airlift 3Ps, no height sensors, as I don't really carry a lot of passengers with me anyways. So I never really found a point in spending the extra money for height sensors, but a lot of my buddies told me to get dual compressor setups from the, for the, uh, I think it's the Vlair 444Cs. So that way I get that smoother setup, I guess, what they told me. Also, my friends encouraged me to go with 3 8 for the lines instead of a quarter inch, just so I can air up and air out a lot easier and faster. And for the tank, I went for a four gallon polish tank. Just, just nothing out of the ordinary. I am thinking of some cool plans for the trunk to get this airlift suspension kind of like all situated out. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of just plan things thoroughly and I'll walk you guys around when it comes to the time where I install these. I heard the installation was very simple. It's not too bad. It's just finding spots to do all the wiring. But besides the point, I am super excited to show you guys the journey of getting my E46 M3 bagged. I know I've been slacking a lot on my videos, man. I'm so sorry. I've been working really, really hard at my job. And needless to say, guys, I'm really grateful to say that it's, it's starting to pay off. Hopefully you guys are gonna stay tuned for the journey for my E46 M3 and getting this bad boy bagged, I am super excited. I might also be playing to get some new wheels, we'll see. I kinda wanna play with the fitment with the current wheels I have on now. We'll see you within time. But nevertheless guys, stay tuned. The build for the E46 M3 is gonna be fucking dope. Love y'all, I'll stay updated when the time comes of installing and doing all the stuff for my E46 M3. Bye!